So create and vote on polls directly in Google Chat. What's changing? In order to provide users with an easy way to gather feedback directly in their Google Chat conversations, we're introducing a new poll app. This is pretty fun. Through a simple creation process, teams and groups can share questions for feedback. This feature can be useful in scenarios in which you need to poll colleagues about an upcoming event, meeting time or team outing. The poll app provides the ability to see results instantly along with options to make poll multi-choice or anonymous. Using the poll app, teams can arrive at faster, more inclusive decisions while keeping the conversation flowing. All right, let's have a look at the images. All right, so we've got a poll, we can put input in, slash commands with poll in it will create the app. The increased bars are using something, using cards in the background, seams, and oh, that little text color changes for updates. Digital details, some poll questions uh, that, some poll questions that ask where to eat, grab coffee, meet, may have special icons. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. So it's listening for some unusual things, perhaps. Getting started. Admins will need to allow this, the uh, poll app if your marketplace user install settings is set to allow users to install and run allow list apps from the marketplace okay to enable the poll app for all users in a domain admins can domain install the poll app yeah that makes sense too end users create a new poll by typing in poll in any chat conversation and clicking enter so we'll need to install it. Let's, let's jump into a chat. How about that? Okay, let's create a space perhaps. So create a space. Space name is a uh, poll. Polling. Let's do questions, eh? Okay. Uh, collaboration, yeah. Okay, so let's create we'll add a member boss. All right, so we want to add in our poll app. Did it have? Do we have instructions there? It should just be it's the poll app name. I wonder if it'll, it'll come up automatically. Do a poll here. Yeah, that's it. That's it there. That must be it. Okay, let's add it to the space. And we're gonna command and we'll just hit enter. Okay, what is poll at? No, we'll make we will we'll collaborate. Should we use poll app? Uh, yes. No, of course uh, not. All the time. All right. So, do we want to allow for multiple votes? That's pretty good. Uh, we can allow for more choices. Wow, up to 10. That's also not bad. Allow for multi-votes. Hide name of participants. I suppose if you're doing an anonymous poll, we can change the poll language. Mm -hmm. And there's a help section. Let's see what help does. Oh, help just turns to another card. That's good. And then they've got a help article, which would probably be the one we just looked at. Let's see. Oh, no, create polls, a proper article about it. 
Okay, return back. Unless he's create. All right, so we've got our poll has popped up. We'll hit yes, we'll vote for yes. Okay. And let's just uh, open up our shared account. Okay, so here we are over here in our other account, so our main account here. And we've already got a poll decision here. Hmm, I wonder, if, we'll have to go back and have a look to see if there was an option for us to keep the votes anonymous until the final result. Because that can bias decisions, right? So let's say uh, not all the time. Come on guys, not, let's not abuse polls. And we can show results. Okay, and of course we left the names in. Let's create another poll. I wonder if we can create a poll from the from this side, so the, the person who didn't create the space or add in the poll. Oops. Looks like it. Okay, so if we went down, allow multiple votes, hide names of participants. So no option for us to not see the votes occur live unless we had a show results or we had a timed period. I mean, it's still useful. It's just going to, <laughs> let's, let's say you are a sycophant in a company and you wait for the boss to make your vote. And then you go, oh, who's just voted? Oh, boss here over here's voted. Excellent. And they voted for not all the time. All right. I'm going to please boss by clicking on not all the time as well. <laughs> um, one downside of showing the poll results immediately. I mean, it, it happens in, in X and Facebook polls and, and whatnot too, I guess, but I'd like to see him have an option to have it anonymous first. And then after a set period of time or when the creator of the poll could have a slash command saying, uh, poll, Ooh, pop. Poll dash, I don't know, um, end. And that would end the polling period. And then those poll results would be available. Feel me? Cool. But it's a great little tool from Google. Thanks, Google. <laughs>